Premier League, inconsistent Wilfried Zaha goes from dreamy to dreadful. Patrick Vieira, the Crystal Palace manager, had urged Wilfried Zaha to be more consistent. His point could not have been illustrated better than the piece of skill Zaha produced to curl into the top corner and then just three minutes later miss a penalty leaving Norwich City to cling on to a 1-1 draw. The point leaves City in the relegation zone after Newcastle United's win on Tuesday evening, and despite their fortune at Zaha's miss, the draw perforates a little of the optimism that they had felt after Temu Pucky's opener just 39 seconds and left them dreaming of three successive Premier League wins for the first time since December 2012. The reverse fixture has lingered in the minds of the Norwich City players. They felt they were unfairly ridden off and underestimated during a period in which they were heavily affected by a COVID outbreak and injuries, missing 10 first-team players in the 3-0 defeat by Palace in December. In that game, Norwich had conceded three first-half goals, but this is a side transformed by momentum and hope. Carroll Road is a Premier League stadium used to fear and anxiety, and yet, even before Pucky had put them ahead, there was a feeling that beating the drop was more than just a dream. In Dean Smith, they have a manager with a confidence that has transmitted to the players. There was a fearlessness in the sheer pace and freedom in which Malo Rashica advanced down the left wing in the opening second. Then came the vision to find Adam Ida, and his layoff reached Pucky to prod home. It was his first goal of 2022 a mishit finish that carried more than a slice of luck as the ball bounced in off the inside of a post. Palace played like a team 13th in the table at the start, without the jeopardy of a relegation battle. Zaha, returning to the starting 11 after the Africa Cup of Nations, was ineffective in the first period. Pucky hesitated and missed a chance to double Norwich's lead after Tyrick Mitchell blocked. Palace then thought they'd equalized but Jean-Philippe Matita's effort was ruled out for offside. While Norwich have transformed under Smith, with 11 points from as many games, Palace's win in the reverse fixture was their solitary win in their previous six Premier League matches. Perhaps a lull was to be expected after Vieira created such a marked change in approach, but for all of their aesthetically pleasing improvements, Zaha has not quite reached his former height. In the finish that he produced into the top corner for Palace's equaliser on the hour, there was a glimpse of the old Zaha sprinting over to hug Vieira. But, when just three minutes later he had the chance to give Palace the lead from the penalty spot after Tyrick Mitchell was fouled, his effort was weak, rolling harmlessly past the post. Zaha's miss would prove the final decisive moment as neither side created a clear opportunity to secure all three points.